Hi kids. Miss Cynthia here. I'm going to read another story. This one happens to be one of my favorites. It's called The Diary of a Worm. And it's written by Doreen Cronin and pictures by Harry Bliss. Before we get started, just to be clear, a diary is a journal. Take a piece of paper or write in a book all your thoughts for one day. And then the next day you write your thoughts for that day. They can be happy thoughts, sad thoughts. You can draw pictures in them. Writing in a journal sometimes helps people feel better. So the worm, the worm wrote a diary. So here we go. Let's get started. The diary of a worm. March 20th. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. The earth gives us everything we need. Two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. And three, never bother dad when he's eating the newspaper. So there's the earth. There's dad. Dad eating the newspaper. Okay. March 29th. Today I tried to teach Spider how to dig. First of all, his legs got stuck. And the spider says, spider right there, and he says, I think I've twisted my ankles. And then he swallowed a bunch of dirt. And you see the spider going, I give, and he says, I give up. Tomorrow he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. How do you think that's going to work out? March 30th. Worms cannot, cannot walk upside down. Look at him. Ah! <laughs> April 4th. That's today. Fishing season started today and we dug, we all dug deeper. Did you hear something coming? James, fishermen are looking for worms to use for fish. So. Worms have to go deeper so they don't get dug up. Well, it rained all night and the ground was soaked, and we spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. For a worm, you don't want to get stepped on. Look at his face. Ah. <laughs> April 15th. I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry I ate my homework. My teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework, ten times. And when I finished, I ate that too. Oh, dear. He ate his homework. He thought it wasn't the dog that ate his homework. It was worms. April 20th. I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. Can you hear a worm? Have you ever heard of worm? I haven't. I wriggled up right between them and they all screamed. I love when I when they do that. Look how happy he looks. He's scared the, scared the little girls because he's just a worm. Worms want her too. They're just kind of slimy. May 1st. Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. They are. So today I said good morning to the first aunt I saw. Good morning. Oh. Well, what do we know about ants? There's never one, just one ant, right? There were 600 more in line. So I stood there all day. So can you see how many are here? It goes all the way, all the way up here and over here. And he's saying, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, my gosh. It did take him all day. May 8th. Had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to stop eating too much garbage right before I go to bed. Birds like to eat themselves. A worm might be a little scared of a, of a bird. Let's see. May 15th. I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me you need legs to be cool. 
Then I ran. I couldn't keep up. Well, actually, he ran, and I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. I, May 16th, I made Spider laugh so hard, he fell out of his tree. Who needs, who needs legs? Like, so, see, he fell out of the tree right here. Leg. May 28th. Last night, I went to the school dance. Ooh. I, you put your head in. You put your head out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. And that's all we do. Could do. Wait a minute. Let me do that one again. You put your head in. You put your head out. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about. That's all we could do. Why is that the only thing that could worm could do? Because they don't have arms and legs. They only have a head. So that's the only part of pokey pokey that they can do. That's funny. June 5th. Today we made macaroni necklaces in class. I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. Look at the macaroni. They could put their whole body into the... There we go. Put your whole body into the macaroni. And then they ate. June 15th. My older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always just look like her rear end. Spider thought that was really funny. Funny. Mom did not. He wasn't being very nice to his sister. Uh oh. He got into a little trouble. Oh dear. July 4th. 4th of July. When I grow up, I want to be a Secret Service agent. Spider says I'll have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him. Someone's got to do it. He wants to be a Secret Service agent when he grows up. There he is, being a secret secret service agent worm. <laughs> July 28th. Three things I don't like about being a worm. I can't chew gum. Two, I can't have a dog. And three, all that homework. Look at this. Uh, look at the size of the gum here. There's the dog. Can you take the dog? July 29th. Three good things about being a worm. I never have to go to the dentist. Worms don't have teeth. I never get in trouble for tracking mud into the house because their house is in the mud, right? And I never have to take a bath. That's mud. And there she says right here, my my good grubby boy. August first, we're already at August. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small and sometimes people forget that we were even here. Like my mom says, the earth never forgets we're here. No. Just goes to show you an a worm is just the earth knows they're there, right? The end. Now, here's some really funny pictures. I don't know if you could see that one right there. It says a bee stung me. Got a bee sting, it got all swollen. He said, This one is a baseball, and it says underneath it, I found a really cool rock. And here's another one right here. It says, my favorite dirt. Uh-oh. And there's my sister's slumber party. Okay. The end. Well, the fun story 
but it does tell you how important a worm is. Uh, insects and worms and the little creatures that live outside are just as important to our earth as we are. So I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.